CARICOM countries divided over Venezuela again. And in sport, Cricket West Indies to give official word on its new player selection policy. I'm Don Paris and this is Caribbean in 10 for Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. We'll be back with the details after the break. Division within CARICOM over Venezuela continued at the Organization of American States yesterday after four member states voted to accept the nomination of a candidate supported by opposition leader Juan Guaido as the Spanish-speaking nation's permanent representative. The Bahamas, Haiti, Jamaica and St. Lucia voted to accept Gustavo Tarrer as the National Assembly's designated permanent representative pending new elections in Venezuela. But Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname joined Venezuela in voting against the measure. Barbados, Guyana, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Trinidad and Tobago abstained from the vote. Belize was the only CARICOM country absent when the vote was taken. The four CARICOM countries that voted in favor of the resolution have supported the so-called Lima Group that's seeking Maduro's rem removal. They met last month with U.S. President Donald Trump on Venezuela. At their intercessional summit in St. Kitts, Nevis in February, regional leaders reiterated their position of non-interference in the internal affairs of Venezuela and said they were prepared to mediate in the process to bring a peaceful resolution to the crisis. The vote at the OAS came on the same day that the St. Lucia government said it was reaffirming its position that the Caribbean must remain a zone of peace and that there should be no third state intervention in Caracas. The Cayman Islands Court of Appeal is expected to deliver a judgment later today in government's application for a stay in a ruling that legalized same-sex marriage. In a ruling on March 29th, Chief Justice Anthony Smelly ordered that Section 2 of the marriage law be changed to state that marriage means a union between two people and not necessarily between a man and a woman. He handed down that decision in response to a petition filed by same-sex couple Chantal Day and Vicky Bodden, who had applied to get married in Cayman last year, but were turned down. They were due to be married on Wednesday, but Premier Alden McLaughlin said it was critical that the country have the benefit of clarification on constitutional issues raised in the Chief Justice's ruling. Yesterday, the Court of Appeal heard arguments from the couple's attorney, Ben Tonner, and the Attorney General's chambers, with acting Solicitor General Rishma Sharma arguing that changing the law from the bench was an overstep of the court's modification powers. But Tonner described the government's appeal as entirely without merit, and he said it fell short of having any likelihood of success. The Court of Appeal has reserved its ruling for 3 p.m. local time today. Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness says his government is on a mission to make his country an ownership economy. He says his administration's aim is to achieve economic independence by putting wealth into the hands of the people. Holness made the comments as he addressed an investor's briefing at the Wigton Wind Farm on Tuesday. Our economic strategy is economic independence. And there are those, again, who confuse two things. One is our political independence, and the other is our economic independence. The truth is that your political independence is really hinged on your economic 
independence. And so what we are about, yes, ultimately, is to secure our political independence. And the best way to do that is by securing our economic independence. And to do that, we must push wealth into the hands of the people. Stay with us, your midday sport is next. Over 1,000 Dragon Boat paddlers and supporters from countries like Canada, Panama, and the United States gathered at the Pigeon Point Heritage Park for the fourth biennial Pan American Dragon Boat Crew Championships. The park's water conditions are exceptional. One side is famous for its clear, calm waters, while the other side has deeper, choppier waters that's perfect for visitors who are into sports such as Dragon Boat racing. So it's starting to foam there, as you can see. Now you want to throw this very slowly and gently. So now we're going to add our cake mixture to this here. You don't have to let it cool off, but just add slowly. There should be official word on Cricket West Indies' new policy on player selection in less than 24 hours. CWI has given notice that new president Ricky Skerritt, CEO Johnny Grave, and director of cricket Jimmy Adams will engage the media regarding CWI's policies tomorrow morning at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua. The advisory came on the heels of Skerritt being quoted by cricket websites as saying there will be a change to the selection policy to have the strongest possible squad for the upcoming ICC World Cup and that administrative issues, politics or petty emotional situations would not prevent players from being considered for selection. The CWI president had also said a final decision on the squad for the World Cup would be made this week. Tenille Campbell has become the first Trinidadian cyclist to win a stage in the UCI road race. After finishing third in the first stage on a Monday, the 21-year-old who's representing the World Cycling Center team from Switzerland claimed a victory in stage two of the women's tour of Thailand yesterday. She finished in one hour, 30 minutes and 19 seconds. CNC, Sport, CNC3 Sports Robert Dumas has the details. Kilometer course suited Campbell's aggressive sprinting style as she bided her time throughout in the midst of the peloton. She made her move near the end where she edged out her World Cycling Center teammate Marlon Russo. <laughs> With the victory, Tanil also enhanced her position in the general classification, moving into second overall. Just three seconds off the overall lead with one more stage to go. Well, Jamaica has been drawn in a tough group for the CONCACAF Beach Soccer Championship to be staged May 13th to 19th. It was pooled with three tough Central American teams, host Mexico, along with Costa Rica and Guatemala in Group A in Monday's draw, which sorted the 16 participating teams into four groups. Trinidad and Tobago, Turks and Caicos Islands, and the U.S. Virgin Islands join Panama in Group B. The Bahamas, Antigua and Barbuda, and Bonaire are in Group C teams, are in Group C with the United States. And Belize, Guadeloupe, and Guyana are in Group D with El Salvador. And that's the Caribbean in 10. Join us again this evening at 6.30 for Caribbean Newsline. Good afternoon. <laughs>